Are triple snipers viable? That's the age old question asked by literally nobody since the dawn of time. But today, we're going to answer that question and also put it into a nifty little build. So if you like to be scoped out of your mind, you're in the right place. Subscribe if you're new, hit like too, and let's get into it. Snipers can be one of the most powerful weapons in the game in the right circumstances, but this build is going to try and make it the right circumstance all the time, so you won't need anything else other than a sniper rifle or free. There's only really two options in the power weapon slot for snipers, with either Darcy or Whisper. We're going for the Whisper of the Worm because of its iconic stature, but also its hard hitting boss DPS. If you haven't got this yet, it's coming to the exotic kiosk in Season 13, and so in that case you'll need Darcy, which is also just as good DPS wise. As for kinetic snipers, there are a few choices. Long Shadow is a favourite with its hard hitting aggressive frame and even Eye of Soul with certain perks can be great in all areas of the game. I'm going with Succession though, the new raid sniper with a recombination roll which can double the weapon's damage at a 10 times stat. For our energy weapon though, there's only really one choice, the Aikilos sniper rifle. This rapid fire sniper returned in Season of Arrivals and can currently be obtained from legendary engrams. Triple tap with high impact reserves is the role, which is up there in the god role category. Now the reason we're using the Aikilos is to take advantage of its war mind cells capability. We've got two slight variations on this setup, so here's the first. Global reach and war mind's longevity will allow war mind cells to proc, not only making them last longer, but also affect a wider area. Now as we're using free snipers, you are kind of vulnerable to close quarters combat, so we're going to use light from darkness which will allow us to become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants near to war mind cells with weapons or abilities. Pair this with protective light and this will give you some damage protection if things get a little bit squeaky bum time in the trenches. Lastly, pop in the rage of the war mind for some glorious solar damage to war mind cells you blow up. You'll ideally want to use a stasis based subclass here to slow down as many enemies as you can around the war mind cell to take advantage of the light from darkness mod. As for the alternative version of this build, I'd take out the Light From Darkness and War Mind's Longevity mods, and replace them with the Wrath of Rasputin and Incinerating Light mods. This is particularly potent in a solar based subclass build, as proccing and destroying War Mind cells will allow you to become charged with light consistently. Realistically, you can pop in any variety of War Mind cell mods, such as the Power of Rasputin or War Mind's Protection, which can help with the range style of combat as well as an increase to boss DPS from Whisper and Succession. I'd tend to use Succession in this build as the weapon to destroy the cells to conserve the Whisper ammo for bosses and the Aikilos ammo for creating War Mind cells. You definitely want to use Sniper Ammo Finder, Scavenger and Reserve mods to maximise your ammo economy, which as you're using free snipers will actually drop both special and heavy ammo bricks fairly often. Don't forget you can use this for endgame too with the Surge Eater and Thermal Overload mods from the artifact. Exotics wise there's plenty of options, Lunar Factions will increase reload speeds in rifts, Mask of Bacris will increase weapon damage for a short time after shifting, and even Mask of the Quiet One for Titans can help with ability recharge and health when taking close quarters damage. I hope you enjoyed this quick sniper build, if you did a rating down below would be greatly appreciated and please subscribe if you're new. That's it for this one though, so on that and as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.